Soria from Living Light International. And today I want to share with you a delicious low glycemic gluten-free dessert called Strawberry Mesquite Macadamia Shortcake with Coconut Cream Topping. It's easy to make and only takes a few minutes. I'm always striving to achieve the best possible health without sacrificing taste, texture, and satisfaction. This year, my husband Dan and I decided to cut way back on sweets, so we needed to find some new low glycemic sweeteners we could use for celebration foods. And today, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorites. So let's get started. There are three components to this recipe, the shortbread biscuit, the cream topping, and of course, the strawberries. I'm going to make the shortbread biscuit first. So to make the biscuit, I'm going to use a food processor and I'm going to process macadamia nuts. And to that, I'm going to add mesquite powder, which is similar in flavor to carob, but more delicate, with hints of cinnamon. It's only about 25 on the glycemic index. I love the flavor of mesquite. Now I'm going to process it. Great, now I have a fine powder and I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. I have here cashew butter. I'm also adding to that a little bit of vanilla. Just a pinch of salt. And for my sweetener, I'm using Divine Organics Coconut Thai Sugar. And I love the flavor of this Thai sugar. It's only about 35 on the glycemic index and it just has a delicious flavor. Okay, now the cashew butter and the coconut sugar work together to bind the mixture together. All right, now the mixture is holding together very nicely and it's time to form it into uh, firm biscuits. So I'm using one quarter cup per biscuit and I'm just measuring out my one quarter cup and I'm placing it in another quarter cup container that is lined with plastic. So now all I have to do is press it in nice and firmly to form a solid biscuit. That's it. Very simple to do. You could do it with a different kind of form if you wanted, but this is a very easy way to do it. I just place it over, remove the mold, and then remove the plastic. And there I have my little biscuit. Now that the biscuit is made, it's time to make our coconut cream topping. And for that, I'm using young coconut meat. One cup equals about two coconuts. And you can use cashews if you prefer um, instead of coconut, but then it'll be a little bit higher in fat and it will, uh, you'll need a little bit more sweetener. For my sweetener, I'm going to be using Lakanto. Lakanto is a great zero glycemic sweetener. So now, besides my Lakanto, I'm adding a little bit of vanilla and some water to make my cream. It's just that simple. I may have to add a little bit more water because this coconut is not extremely soft, but you can tell that as you go. All right, oh, that's beautiful, satiny smooth. So we have our biscuits and we have our cream, and now all we have to do is add our strawberries. These were strawberries that I froze when they were plentiful, and of course, fresh strawberries are wonderful too. You can use any kind of berries, especially low glycemic berries like strawberries are great, but you could also use peaches. So now to plate it, we're going to add our strawberries. I've tossed this with a little bit of Lakanto just to bring out the, the sweetness of the strawberries. And you can add as much or as little as you like. These, this is smelling so good. And then of course we want a nice dollop of our cream to go right on top of that. Mmm, that looks so good. Maybe a little more, <laughs> just for good measure. All right, and there you have it. This is a beautiful strawberry mesquite macadamia shortcake with coconut cream topping. Eating gluten-free and low glycemic foods are another step toward a more vibrant life. And life can still be sweet. This is Sherry Soria from Living Light International, helping you make healthy living delicious.